Raider Nation. Let's get the lighting right. See if we can get it a little bit better. Merry Early Xmas. Well, I'm your host, Mikey Raider. This is my hallway video next to my towels. But I'm wearing a Raider sweater. It's not an ugly Christmas sweater. It's a Raider sweater. And it's pretty damn awesome. Yeah, you should go out and get one. Not a sponsorship. Not at all. Guess what time it is? No, it's not only Christmas time. It's mother effing Chiefs week. Do you know what that means? It means we got to beat the Chiefs. That's all we want for Christmas as Raider Nation is to beat the mother Chiefs. And that's all I want. Besides your love, your respect, your support, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to this channel for early content that's going to be forthcoming and some more fun stuff while I get my life in order. And there is a merchandise store. There's other things for sale on there from my life and my career. Maybe y'all want to support me during this really tough time in the holidays. Holidays suck when you're alone and broke. But we got a ton of blessings. And we're going to talk about that on today's show. Can we beat the Chiefs? Yes, we can. We can. It ain't a fallacy. It ain't a lie. We can do it. How can we do it? That's another story. We're playing at Arrowhead. We've had close games with them previously. We won in the Gruden era one time. And in this era, we took the lead. I forgot what game it was, but 17 nothing in the first half. Or something like that. And then they ended up winning. But now we looked that good against the Chargers. We scored 63 in total. And the Chiefs have lost a few. And they ain't looking so great. And if everything goes right on Christmas Day for our Raiders, we can win. That would be something amazing in our stockings, Raider Nation. Because it's Mother Evan Chiefs Week. And I love Antonio Pierce. I love what he's saying in the press and everything. Give that man. That man has a real shot at getting the job, regardless of what happens in the next three games. That's just my opinion, and I'll leave it at that. And we'll have major conversations in the offseason regarding Antonio Pierce and Devontae Adams, whether he's going to be a Raider or not, because there's still a lot of things up in the air for this team. And it's scary to think that we might have a, another scary offseason of a rebuild. But right now, we ain't going to worry about that. What we're going to worry about is Mikey Raider in the Santa hat saying, beat the ever-loving shit out of the Chiefs. You hear me, Raider Nation? I don't care what you got to do, what drugs you got to take. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, NFL. I want to beat the Chiefs. We're playing in their home stadium on Christmas Day, 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to try to go live. I got a few things happening in my life, and I may need to go somewhere later in that day to support my brother, who's in a rehab and slowly dying, but he's still alive. But the Raiders play on Christmas morning. So, you're going to be with your beautiful family. You're going to have your kids out. You're going to be playing with the gifts. You know, the batteries ain't going to work. They're going to be Nippon batteries when you want Duracell batteries. But the Nippons will work for at least 15 minutes until you need to go to the store or return the merchandise. For myself, for Christmas, I got myself a, a 100th headphone set. And guess what? It didn't work. Bought it for $20 on eBay. And it didn't work. The wireless component doesn't work. But when I hook it up with a wire, it works to the computer. But with the wireless, that's the reason I got it for the Bluetooth and it doesn't work. But Merry Christmas, Mikey Raider. Let's talk about the matchups. The Raiders defense has been balling out. They're playing much better. Ever since Patrick Graham has got these players playing with pride, poise, the Raider way spirit, the game has slowed down for many of them. Even rookie Tyree Wilson has been gaining momentum, being moving moving him all around the field, which is nice to see, and he started to create some stats on the stat book. So that is a wonderful sign for this team moving forward. 
Max Crosby's just balling out as best as he can with an injury. It has hindered him. People don't want to say that, but it has. But he's still that type of a player that they're double teaming him and allowing players like Malcolm Kuntz to make a name for themselves, especially late in the season. But our defensive line has gotten help from our secondary. They are balling out as best as possible. Players like Jack Jones that revealed himself last week versus the Chargers in that pick six. That might have been a conspiracy theory to me because they showed the video footage where he was mic'd up for that game. And how did they know he was going to, you know, the Raiders were going to score 63 that game. He was going to have the pick six to be the all-time leading, to have us have the all-time leading score in Raiders franchise history on that pick six. And the camera was on him before it, during it, and he was mic'd up for that game. And how did all these perfect things have to happen for that miraculous play to happen? Sounds like a conspiracy that it might have been scripted or they knew what was going to happen. But I'm not trying to go there yet. That was a beautiful play, and I'll leave it at that. But there's some conspiracy behind it, y'all. Whether it be scripted, they knew what was going to happen, the play was determined. I don't know. I'm just saying that I'm not saying. But man, our defense can handle Patrick Mahomes, man. And Travis Kelsey and Rasheed Rice are basically their only weapons that we really have to worry about. Um, Rasheed Rice is turning into the best wide receiver for the chefs. And Travis Kelsey is always a problem in the red zone, especially on their little trick plays that they like to do, the run arounds, the boon arounds, and all that other crap. But they haven't been doing it so well this year. And they've been missing and dropping a lot of passes. And they are not quite what they're due to what they're used to. But let's get that right. They still got Andy Reid at the helm. They got Patrick Mahomes, who can make anything happen at any given moment and take a team that's 20 points behind and let them win by 20 points. But I regret drafting him in fantasy football this year. F you, Patrick Mahomes. How dare I do that? I should have drafted Jalen Hurts in combination with A.J. Brown. Probably would have had a fantasy football championship. So... I'm pissed off about that. But Aiden O'Connell, he can make some plays for the Raiders. They give him time, and he stands in the pocket, not afraid. He can make some plays. But Chris Jones is a big boy. Chris Jones is going to come after him. And, you know, they're going to they gonna blitz him just like the Chargers did. They're going to blitz him. But if they got a good game plan, and if Colton Miller can play, if Josh Jacobs can play, this is the game they need to play in. This is the Mother Evan game they need to play in. You hear me? And I'm not predicting playoffs or anything. I don't care about that right now. I want to beat the Chiefs. Just like Antonio Pierce said in one of his videos, he told his players at the post-game press conference or, or wherever he said it, I think it was after winning versus the Chargers, he said, go home, get some rest. We'll see you because it's Chiefs weeks. And he said something about talk yo shit. Talk yo shit. And then some Raider players started to talk their sh on Twitter. They started to talk their shit. And so I did as well. So Raider Nation, this is Chiefs Week. Talk your shit. Let's get the Raider Nation spirits and everybody up for this game. Because if they see all our shit talking on Twitter and everywhere, the players see it. They know it. And if they're doing their own shit talking, they're going to be that game. This going to be that game. This is going to be that Christmas game. And I want a heart attack game in this game. Because that means we're in it to win it in the end. And you know what? Like in the 90s and almost all the movies, we're in it to the end. We're going to win in the end. Win in the end. Yeah, I know this wasn't the biggest and the best game preview. But you know what? Talk to your shit, Raider Nation. We deserve it. No matter how bad people say we are. Talk your shit. You a Raider. It's Chiefs week. Let's get it going. Let's whoop the ever-loving crap out of the chefs. And I don't care if it's by one point, half a point, three points. We gonna win versus the Chiefs. My prediction? Let's do it. It ain't gonna be a high-scoring game. I'm not gonna put that 
uh, to the Raiders two weeks in a row. Raiders win 20 to 19. I don't know how that'll play out, but the Raiders win 20 to 19. It's going to be a hell of a Christmas day. You guys let me know your thoughts on the game below. I have a lot of pride. I have a lot of poise. And you notice whenever I say a game is close, it can either go either way. Because that's how I honestly feel about it. But normally, I would not hesitate to say the other team wins like I did with the Vikings and the Dolphins and the Chiefs a few weeks back. But I'm feeling something this Christmas. I'm feeling something. I can't explain what it is. Might be that right away. Might be that big dookie that I took about two and a half hours ago. But I'm feeling something. And you know what? It's good. It's black silver and it's magical. It's not the Raider ribs. It's not the Derek Carnitas tacos. Not to bring up a name that you guys are mad at for some weird reason. I'm feeling something. And I'm feeling a Raider Nation victory versus the Chefs. Raiders win 20 to 19. Go get it, Raider Nation. Talk your shit. And stay tuned to this channel. I might be able to go live, celebrate the game with you guys, drink some rum on Christmas. So please come back to this channel and check it out. I might be able to do that. But more importantly, from the bottom of my heart, for everybody that supports me, has been there for me, after losing my channels, losing my health, losing money, losing everything, family, blah, blah, blah. The ones that ride with me, ride or die, I love y'all. I thank y'all, and I wish you and your beautiful families a very Merry Christmas. And all I can say is, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let the Yuletide sing. From now on, our troubles will be far away. With Red Nation, have yourself a Raider Nation Christmas victory. Fuck the chefs.